So, good morning. Today I make two videos. The first video was about this, the Viha screwdriver kit. And now it has a real use because of this, the DSO shell. Another kit from Banggood. I sold it yesterday, put together yesterday. And the AN8008. Mm, my favorite small multimeter. It fits so well on the videos. And this video is about all of them but especially because of this. In the video yesterday I mentioned that I think there's enough place to put in a battery and I was right. The battery is not very big I have in my part bin and the design is not very well yet but I throw it together last night and it works. So now I have a battery powered DSO 150 shell kit. And why we get the awning of course it has the built-in very easy frequency gen so to show that it is not a fake there's no cables running from somewhere and you see I have to adjust the ports inside 50 Hertz 100 200 300 400 going to 500 yes it works and you see no power comes in there is no fake the battery is really inside and if you run out of battery you only need a standard power bank okay my power bank at the moment looks a little bit weird it's just part putting hanging together but if the battery runs out of power just put it to the side and here you see I make a cut out for a standard micro USB port or oh, it is a micro USB port it's one of these little modules that comes with the whole charging electronic and when I switch on here I'm charging I'm charging this with 5 volt and 900 milliamp uh, the battery is I use is quite old it was from somewhere somewhere not very um, it's not a, doesn't hold a lot of capacity but I will test it, uh, recharge it, and see how good the battery becomes, or I will order another one. So, this is the first part. You see, battery powered DSO shell. I don't know why they don't put it in, make it 10 euro more expensive, and just bring it with a nice battery, or just put the charging electronic, the battery protection, on the board it would be very nice because you have it now it's a very useful tool for just checking low frequency stuff and how I made it I will show you and for this I take it apart with the new Weha screwdriver kit yes it slides out so nicely get out the handle get out a Philips one I think yes it is Philips one Turn it to the other side. One should get a little bit bigger one, I think. Yeah. Two, three. And four. Getting out four screws. Then I can just remove this cover part put it there I hacked it so from the side you see there's still place a uh, space if I have a bigger battery I can put in a bigger battery but the batteries I have are smaller or too big so this one was the only one that fits a little bit inside the case there's something I don't like about the kit so let me make it foldable just like this um, you see a lot of hot snots here of hot glue this small underneath is the battery last charging it took about 400 milliamp hours of load and yeah, it should be enough for about one hour operation there is the charging and a battery protection unit it's one of those small um, boards you can buy at all of the Chinese um, suppliers 
me already, or I always buy the Banggood and I always have some of them laying around. Um, it's very easy. You come from the battery positive and negative to the B plus and B minus here. Maybe I zoom in. Let me zoom in. It should work when I zoom in a little bit. Rest of the board is not so interesting. Yes, it goes to B plus and B minus, and from there it goes to out plus and out minus to a DC DC converter. This I modified slightly because the caps was too high. Input cap I doesn't need. I just think I doesn't need, and it works. And then I set up the voltage to about nine volt. Measure which resistor I have and put in a little SMD resistor because the trim port was also too high and um, come to the um, front board. So I just rip out and put in a little SMD resistor. And also the standard cap was too high at the output and so I put a normal electrolytic capacitor um, putting to the side with the legs going out and put it here. That's all I done and only here cut out a little bit for the charging port and it works well. So very easy modification for this kit. Really I don't know why they doesn't put it in it. They have enough space on this board even this is analog board maybe you should not put it there but on a digital board. One thing I have to figure out is how I can um, yeah, just like bypass the switch and use this switch to power on the um, yeah the DC DC converter because DC DC converter already just get a little bit of power out of it when it is not running but that was too much effort last night so I make it like this yeah and it works it works very fine when I put it back and yeah, putting back is always a little bit difficult because of the construction um, just turn it on and you see it's working and yeah you know, I could let it run for one hour but I think that is too boring for you so I won't do it okay see you next time bye bye